Windows updates can sometimes do more harm than good. If you're like me and you have a computer doing a dedicated task like mining or something like that, you don't want Windows to randomly restart because of an update. In fact, you probably just want to disable it completely. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps to get that done, so let's check it out. Welcome back to the channel and here we are at our Windows 11 desktop. I'm going to walk you through three methods. As you might know, you can already go into the system settings and inside Windows updates, you can pause it for a week and sometimes you get a little drop down menu on the right hand side and you can pause it for two, three, four, maybe even five weeks. Pausing it doesn't always resolve the issue because sometimes you're going to forget and that might happen at a critical time. So I'm going to show you how to disable it. Let's take a look at method number one. And the first method is very similar to my Windows 10 video. And that's just going to the start menu and just type in services and the services app loads up. Now this is in alphabetical order. So if you click in here and just type in W, it jumps to the W section. And then inside here, you can just scroll down to Windows Update, which is right here. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna double click on it to open it up. So right now the startup type is manual. And what I can do is I can just completely stop it. So we're stopping the service altogether. It's gonna activate as soon as I reboot. So what I wanna do is I wanna disable it. After I've selected disable, I can hit apply and then okay. Once these changes have applied Windows update should not restart when the computer reboots. It should keep it disabled, but if you update different components of the system, that could change this. If you do a service pack update, that could change this as well. Windows is planning to launch a couple of new major updates in February 2022, which is coming up in a couple weeks, and that could affect these methods that we're doing right now, but you can try all three and see if they work for you. You can go ahead and close this window, reboot your computer, and the changes will be applied. Let's take a look at method number two. Method number two is going to be using the group policy editor to disable Windows updates. So to do that, we're going to click on start. We're going to type in GP edit. And that's going to open up our group policy editor. We'll just click on that. Inside here, we want to click on computer configuration, then administrative templates. We're going to expand this. Windows components. We're going to expand that. Scroll down to Windows updates. Let me get there. There we go. Windows updates. And we're going to expand this. And now we want to find manage end user experience. So we're going to select this option. Now we just need to find configure automatic updates. So we're going to double click and open this up. And inside here, we can select the disable option. Hit apply and OK. Once you've applied these changes, you can close out of all the windows, restart your computer, and that should take effect. Now, again, not everything's guaranteed. So I have method number three. So we're going to click on the Windows key over here. We're going to type in reg edit, reg edit, and the registry editor is going to pop up. We can select the registry editor. And I don't think you have to run this out as, as administrator, but I always do say yes to the prompt. And now we just need to navigate to the right folder. So we want to go to the H key local machine. We're going to expand this. Then we're going to look for software and we'll expand that. Scroll all the way down until we get to policies and then we'll expand that. Inside Microsoft, we're going to expand this folder and we'll get Windows. So here is Windows. We're just going to select it. Okay, so what we're going to do in here is we're going to right click on the Windows. We're going to say new key, and then we're going to type in Windows update. And then there's no spaces when we type this in. You can see I have no spaces here at all, and then I'm going to hit enter. That key has now been created. And now what I want to do is create a subfolder in here. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say new key again. I'm going to type in AU for auto update, and then hit enter. Okay, and now over on the right hand side, I'm going to right click I'm going to select new and then I'm going to select D word 32 bit value. And this new key is going to open up here and we're going to type in no auto update, no spaces, and then hit enter. We're going to open up this key by double clicking on it and to activate it. We need to just change the value data to one and then hit OK. And now it's been enabled. You can see under data that the value set is now one. That means it's activated. Zero means it's off. One means it's on. And that's it. We've edited the registry to have no more Windows updates. Now we can go ahead and close out of this window. These are three options to disable Windows update on your Windows 11 computer. As Windows progresses over time, it's still a new operating system. Things might change. These registry edits and policy edits that we've done could get removed with those updates. So keep that in mind that right now, this is the best method to disable Windows updates. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more Windows 11 tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.